G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video and jumping straight into Go Battle League and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise we're going to jump into some battles currently at the 2400 ELO. You're trying out a few new teams and uh, dropped a bit from hitting veteran rank but uh, it is all good. If you've got any team ideas let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try them out uh, to get some new ideas. So let's uh, jump in and we've got all leagues open but I am actually going to jump into the Great League and I'm going to run um, the team that I ran in uh, my previous video which I will link to and I'll link to the playlist uh, for my uh, battles this season and that is Whalerun with Powder Snow, Icicle Spear and Earthquake, uh, Trevenant with um, Shadow Claw, Seed Bomb and Shadow Ball and then Medicham with Counter, Ice Punch and Psychic. So I said last time that I'd like to run power up punch but I I mean I do see the benefit of uh, of ice punch so we'll keep ice punch and uh, and see how we go but with that being said let's uh, jump into some battles and see how we go so with whale run on the lead obviously you don't want to see bastard on um, there's a few others that you obviously don't want to see uh, any of the fighters um, are going to be pretty bad but um, we'll see how we go and hopefully we can get some uh, some decent uh, game so we've got a galarian stunfisk and it seems to not matter what i do with uh, with this match if i bait off the start then I uh, I don't get a shield, and if I throw the Earthquake, I do get a shield. So I'm not going to shield this first one up, and I'm actually going to, um, again, just go for the bait, and we'll see what happens. Um, let's hope that we're able to uh, grab a shield here. That would be really, really nice. And finally able to uh, grab a shield, um, and now I will match their shield and do the same. So we'll see if they want to go down two shields. I should be able to get to a... Uh, earthquake before they're able to get to a another uh, rock slide and uh, if they don't want to go down well let's find out what happens here so no shield and unfortunately oh they're uh, they don't go down but I'm able to uh, just take them and I've got a um oh yeah so this works out sort of okay for us. Um, they're going to have to shield that up and now their shields are down. So for this one, what I'm going to do is come in with my uh, Trevenant here and we'll see what they want to do. So it is the Altaria here. So I'm actually going to swap into my um, Medicham. Um, so this is actually a bit tougher spot than I would like to be in um, but we'll see what happens so had I thrown the shadow ball it probably would have been okay let's throw the ice punch and the question here is and so this is what is uh, ice punch is for um, good old uh, Altaria super super weak to the ice punch but that's fine um, and the question is can I get to another one before they're able to get to their move I am so there's the ice punches uh, done and dusted and that's Altaria going down so down goes the Altaria out comes the uh, Medicham and they're going to have to throw energy here um, if they don't throw energy then obviously I'm going to be able to um, ice punch them so energy it is and they've decided to acid spray me and is that a wise move uh, no, they've decided to leave the game. Um, I don't know why they went as... I mean, either way, they were in uh, trouble because I had the uh, Shadow Ball loaded on the uh, the Trevenant. So I have seen a rise in um, the number of Shadow Victory Bells that have been playing out in the meta. So I don't know what that's from um, but I'm assuming there's a few other uh, YouTube creators that let's be honest are a little bit more popular than I am um, that have uh, that have brought it about so I'm actually going to swap this one straight out and go into the Medicham here um, so this could be a bit of a mistake here but that's fine um, I'm not going to shield this one up um, it probably will be the psycho boost which is fine no thunderbolt so thunderbolt coming through which is fine um, 
So here I'm going to throw my uh, Psychic and uh, let's see if I can get the debuff. Um, it would be really nice to get the debuff. Nope, not able to do it, but that's fine. Um, and again, not going to shield this up. Is The question is, is this going to be the Psycho Boost? No, another Thunderbolt. So it shouldn't be doing enough to KO from that range. And I'm just going to go straight for my own um, Psychic here. And I do a little bit more chip damage, so happy days. Um, so it does that little bit of extra chip damage, and then they're going to be able to farm me down. So this is looking a bit rough, but let's uh, jump in with the Trevenant, and we'll see what they want to do. Um, so going to sack the Whalerun here and see if they're going to throw the Psycho Boost. So Psycho Boost comes through and that's perfect for me. And out comes the, oof, out comes the Licky Tongue. So if they keep their shields here, which let's be honest, they probably should. Um, yeah, so this is going to put me in a really tough spot with the... Um, Trevenant because uh, well I mean it doesn't it doesn't like I don't need to shield up any of their charge moves either on my Trevenant um, and I'm not going to shield this I'm going to save two shields for the Trevenant and um, hope that I'm able to uh, do enough damage are they going to let me throw another charge move? They are indeed. So that's really not ideal for them uh, because now they're going to have to use up a shield or not. Okay, fine. Don't use up the shield. That's fine. Um, was going to swap out straight away, but uh, they decided to throw their energy. So that works out perfectly for me. Body slam comes through. And the question is, what do they have in the back? Um, are they going to have something in the back that can handle this... Um, Oh, yeah, so they do have something in the back that can handle this. Um, I can't beat this. Not with two shields. They're going to be able to farm me all the way down. So um, that's really unfortunate. Uh, but, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, and they managed to swap in the Deoxys um, just to flex. Ouch. So Seed Bomb coming through. Deoxys goes down. How they managed to count that, I do not know, because obviously I did farm a lot of extra energy there. Um, yeah, so they've basically uh, yeah, got their shields and uh, yeah, happy days for them. So they're going to be able to um, farm me down here. And you know what? This actually, had they not caught that seed bomb, this might have actually been a lot closer. Um, although I do think they're going to have back-to-back... Icicle Spears here, and uh, there's no point shielding. This is game over, so I'll, uh, I'll just let this one go. So Icicle Spear comes through, and that's going to be enough to take me out. So even without the, um, yeah, without the sack swap there, yeah, they possibly would have been able to, uh, to take me. And uh, that's really unfortunate that I swapped in with the Medicham because obviously their backline was not uh, not set up to deal with the Medicham. So um, really unfortunate there. Again, Medicham without a uh, fighting type charge move is a little bit different. So for this one, um, so we've got, yeah, Wigglytuff with... Um, yeah, so this is actually not as nice as I would like. Um, so the question here is, I'll let this first... Well, I'm going to let this go. It's going to be a Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon's going to do uh, quite a lot of damage to me here. Um, the thing is, they will have to throw another one to uh, KO me. They just can't farm me down. Um, and it, But it will drop my attack wildly so I need the debuff and did not unfortunately didn't get it um, and the question here is do I want to invest the shield and I do um, zap cannons gonna come through they're not going to be able to get to another zap cannon before I can well let's just throw this ice uh, punch just in case uh, really hard to keep up with uh, the counting for a um, So what have they got? Oh, was just able to get to the psychic. Um, the question here is now, will this get the debuff? They're not going to shield this up. 
there's no way. Um, but it did, it got the defense fall, so that's uh, really good. And Stun Fist comes out, so uh, this is a bit unfortunate for me. Um, I'm just thinking here, what is the play? So I'm actually going to swap into my Trevenant here, um, and then throw Shadow Balls, and we'll see. Actually, I'm going to throw the... Um, seed bombs because they've got two shields and they have to start using them at some point and there you go they're started um so i'm gonna let this go if it yeah they're gonna have i think back to back um rock slides at this point so we'll see if i can get to my uh, seed bomb before they're able to get to their next rock slide which i am and we'll see if they want to shield this up or not and they do invest a second shield um uh, question mark here so I'm gonna let this one go is it gonna be enough no uh, one two three four five and then uh, wiggly tough comes in and I am going to be able to throw the seed bomb which is going to be doing quite a lot of damage and then let's jump in with our uh, Wailrun and we'll see if we can uh, yeah this is good game they know that's over because uh, I've got a shield and I'm going to be able to get to Earthquake so they uh, go and look for that top left hand side and uh, I get the win so happy days so able to take that game so wasn't as comfortable as I'd like they did get the sacks well they caught the icicle spear on the uh, Stunfist so I've just got to be careful of the sack swaps and things so Wailrun well Shadow Wailrun into uh, my old normal Wailrun so here what I'm actually going to do is just go straight Earthquake and no shield everything we'll see what they want to do Um, so I suspect that they're going to be throwing straight Earthquakes, why wouldn't you? Um, and if they do, then, oh, that's huge. Um, so out comes the Medicham, and I'm able to meet it with... Uh, so I will have to shield this up, which is fine. Meet it with that, because it will be the icicle, uh, ice punch. Uh, ice punch coming through. Let's uh, just make sure we can. So one, two, three, four. Uh, let's throw the seed bomb here. It should be doing enough damage at this range. Obviously, it's not going to. Oh, we'll see. Ouch. Um, so I will be able to survive one. So that's fine. I will let this go. And then we can... Uh, charge up some energy and uh, threaten when the whale run comes back in which i assume is going to be what comes in now it is the whale run coming in i am able to throw the uh seed bomb here they're going to have to shield that up and oh absolutely beautiful able to win the cmp there and they're going to use the energy there's the icicle spear and let's uh, throw the earthquake now from our own whale run and we'll see what they want to do so will they shield this up and swap out and that i'm really hoping that's what they do they do not but um and now they've got their own um uh, Trevenant which uh, does work out pretty well for me um, I have things uh, lined up how I want them to so um, I will shield this up as well and uh, be able to take this down um, seed bomb coming through not well obviously it's going to be shielded but and I am going to then be able to throw uh, the icicle spear and it looks like so they had uh, the same team as me but in a different order which is uh, just absolutely fantastic for me um, I don't know that they're going to be able to get to yeah so I'm going to be able to get to the earthquake before they are um, so they had the shadow variant of the whale run but other than that they were running the same team as me um, absolutely insane so managed to call the bait um, the Icicle Spear bait off the start, and um, yeah, that just really helped me out. was able to hold my energy when they swapped in with the, um, uh, swapped in with the uh, Medicham, and uh, countered into my, my own, oof, so Reggie Steel. So this is, 
this is really bad. So I'm actually going to swap into the... Um, oh, so interesting here. Um, so swap into the Trevenant and then in comes Koffer Grigus. So I would really... Well, let's hope they don't shield. They do shield, so... Mm, so I do have the energy lead, um, and I'm just questioning here what I do. So I'm going to shield up as well. I expect this to be the Dark Pulse, um, just because obviously it's still going to be doing a huge amount of damage. Um, and able to get to another um, Shadow Ball, and we'll see if they want to shield this one up as well. They don't, so down they go. So able to win switch here. Um, and they're still going to have to throw energy if they want to take me out. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is shield this up. They're going to have to throw more energy. They can't. Um, they can't charge me down with uh, with this. So I'm just going to uh, throw more energy and see what they want to do. So um, we'll see what they swap into question here is can I get to another one before they're able to get to no so they're going to be able to throw energy but that's fine it's going to give me time to so I'm going to be able to farm them down with the Medicham and um, yeah so that works out pretty nicely for me so I would be able to farm them down with the Medicham and um, yeah have their energy for the Swampert, but obviously, let's see what they want to do here, actually. Um, is this going to be an Earthquake? Or a Sludge Wave? It is the Earthquake. And that does a lot of damage from a Shadow. Um, so able to get to a second move here, and they may actually be able to win this. So if they shield this up and they have Earth, oh, so they actually are probably going to win this with back-to-back. -back. Oh, no, don't have the back-to-back -back hydro cannons. So uh, they decided to, yeah, so this is good game. There's nothing they can do here. They must have been so close to the back-to-back um, -back hydro cannons there. Um, and they wanted to, uh, yeah, take that. But I was able to uh, get the win on the board. Really, really close game. Very much closer than I would have liked. Um, but I do think that was the right play, shielding up the Trevenant, because it forced them to... Um, oh, there we go. And uh, was able to go 4-1 again with this team. So went 4-1 last time, 4-1 again this time. Happy days. And let's see what our reward is. It's a Shelmet. So, mm, Shelmet's uh, not interesting if it's not shiny. So, we'll uh, we'll just catch this real quick, hopefully. We'll see if it uh, jumps out of the ball. Hopefully not with the excellent throw. No, it stays in the ball. Happy days. And uh, then we'll see what that does to our ELO. So, it'll uh, get us up a little bit again, but uh, won't be pushing close to the 2500s yet. Would be nice to uh, to get a little bit higher before the end of the season, or at least finish the season at uh, within the veteran ranking. So anything above 2500 would be nice. So 2407 to 2449, uh, looking pretty good there, and we'll uh, yeah we'll take that for sure. So this team um, has been working out pretty well for me, as you can see, a couple of really close matches and uh, matches that probably weren't necessarily favorable but was able to on the lead at least but then was able to pull it back with uh, with wins and then a couple matches that uh, I did go uh, just sort of got to had luck on my side or well whether you call it luck or not so the the, the match that we had the exact same team except they had a shadow whalerun um able to call the icicle spear and yeah match and they swapped out so lost switch and i was able to match up really nicely against their team so happy days um like i said at the start if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below otherwise thank you very much for watching check out some of the other videos and uh, hopefully i'll uh, see you in the next one bye for now